Hey, hello, how's it going? Welcome back to another Slice and Dice. We're playing more 3.1. I'm very excited to play it. I did do a stream yesterday, and in addition to the stream, I played on my own a little bit too. I've been getting a little wild. I've been experimenting. I've been trying a lot of stuff out. But I think I want to get an actual maybe win streak down here. So let's let me real quick go into the settings before I forget how to. I, I think generated heroes are pretty cool, honestly, but I think I'm gonna turn them off for now. Uh, but I think I think you should be mindful if you have a bad character that re-rolling into a generated character is gonna be a lot stronger of an option. They in my experience, the generated heroes do seem a lot better in 3.1. They do seem on average to be a lot stronger than they were in the past. But um it's hard to say exactly, so. For now, let's just hop in here. Let's just play a normal hard mode run, and uh, yeah, we're only I'm only on a one win streak right now. I've been I've been experimenting. I've been testing stuff out. Uh, I do think that I will take add goblin here. Uh, I think this is pretty decent. Uh, depleted spells. This used to be a three point curse, and it got bumped up to four. I've played one run of this in the in the alpha for three point one, and it was a really tough curse. So I don't, I don't think this is going to be easy. I think I'll, I'd rather just have Ad Goblin here. It's obviously not as bad as something like expensive. Or even it's actually not even so clear cut if it's better or worse than expensive spells. It's, it's expensive spells. The first spell is cheaper. Second spell is as expensive. Third time you cast a spell, it is now uh, more expensive. So you're even with with uh, expensive spells. And then fourth fourth spell onwards. It's now a harder curse effectively than expensive spells was, right? If you assume you're casting the same spell over and over again, right? So, there's something to be said about that one. I I don't know uh, how good depleted depleted spells is as a curse, but my my gut tells me it's a pretty tough one. Anywho, uh, getting our starting team here. Happy to have clumsy, clumsy. Uh, in my opinion, or I I theorize that it's going to be a pretty good character with the. Uh, the changes so that's cool to see put this here i guess we just burst and pass a cleave from uh from clumsy kills here there we go easy fight easy cool fight oh i do want leather gloves this fight doesn't seem too tough for me you know what i think i go for this if i lose so be it but uh i think this is pretty good i think I kind of like just putting it out on alloy here. Getting three cantrip shields is kind of cool. Do we play it with that? Um. Uh, I think I take berserker. Although, ah, no, actually, I take warden here. We immediately lose that cantrip shield line, though. Actually, I'm gonna go berserker. Final answer. We're probably gonna lose someone here because of this thorn. We have no real way to actually kill it, other than berserker just hitting it with uh, either a three or four damage side here. Um, so that's concerning. Huh. Can I save Clumsy? I can. Is it worth? I think it's fine. Okay. This works pretty well, actually. Dude, the one HP buff on Clumsy is so cool. Character's definitely gotten a lot better. What the fuck is this turn, man? Holy shit. Okay. So, a couple things to do here. That still kills Berserker no matter what it looks like. Okay, so I think, I think Berserker's dying here. Listen, we came in here knowing there was good odds that Berserker wouldn't make it out alive. I think this is fine. I'll hold this. Okay. Kill these. But this, what okay, I can do, I can do this. We got pretty good odds, I would say, at, uh, can I just do, hold on. I can just burst you, huh? That is better. <laughs> As a better approach. Okay, so hold on. So we burst the B, put this here, I like that a lot, a lot more. There we go, okay. This, this seems doable. I'll take the cleaves. I'll take this. I need a mana hit on my initiate here. And we do get there. So we get to go hit, cleave. Nobody dies, hooray. Uh, ballet shoes. 
I think with leather gloves, I gotta go ballet shoes here. This is a little too juicy to pass on. I think, and the, the thing that sticks out to me most here is something like this into this, which is pretty good. We also have this into this, which is pretty good too. A lot of good options right off the bat, right? I think we just do this though. That look, that, that, that's looking pretty nice to me. Okay, they're killing my initiate. I get a double cleave here. Initiate does live with this current set of rolls. Um, I think we just hold for a potential gather line next turn. We'll see. We shall see. Okay. Not a scary turn. Roll again. Okay, we don't get the gather line, but we do get to just kind of do some murders here. Ooh, that's not great though. Hold on. You can do like this into this here. That keeps Berserker alive. We need to do something like this. That's good enough. Okay. We are just ha barely, hang barely hanging on by a thread every single fight here. Every fight we're going in here and it seems like we're about to die, but... We're still pretty good. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, I've been... Uh, dude, oh, I think we can take it here. I've been dying to play the new Bard. I think they are much better than old Bard. But I think they're still kind of bad. But we need to play to test, test things out, right? That's the, you know... One thing I'll say, I would like to win. I would like to win. But we, do, we need to play the new characters and the new changes. and the, Not new characters. We need, we need to play the changes to see how the game feels. Right? We don't If we don't try anything new, how will we know if characters are good or bad, right? And we have Initiate going into this fight. It should be a pretty safe uh, win here, I'm pretty sure, still. I'm not too concerned. We get the else as well, which is kind of interesting. Not that it matters here too much, but... um, This should be a pretty easy dub. Okay, take that for sure. Okay, roll all these, see if I can get the mana shield here. No, we just get a big gather, okay. There we go. Switch Berserker with Initiate. Why not? I don't think it matters too much. Sure, Berserker, go to the bottom. Okay, Wanda Does that do anything here for us? Not really. Nothing of note, at least. Oh, but I like it more than Reign of Arrows. I don't have a left side replacer. So I guess I'm down for two random tier ones. You maybe hit a left side replacer. I get a left side uh, vitality adder, which is not anything really, but I guess we'll put that here for now. That's fine. That is that is a play, I suppose. Oh, we need to take out these illusions this turn. We have some pretty good rolls to do it, which is nice. I think I hold that to be safe. And do something like that into this. Looks pretty good, okay. Should be able to kill the ogre this turn, especially if Berserker rolls a four damage side. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I am just realizing why I've been taking so much damage, because we have had Goblin. It's a super aggressive early game curse. That's why I am now just realizing why we, we've had, you know, such a tough start here. But this should be a lot better now. Looking pretty good to me. I think a cleave. I do need to. I don't know. I guess kill his war chief maybe this turn. I should probably be rolling uh, a mystic down here. That's good enough, I think. Okay, so put this here. Put this here. Put this here. Something like that. Mystic takes a lot less damage. Very good. Now I seem to handle two of the three goblins here. I'll hold two, man. I'll hold the heal as well. Keep rolling. Well, that's at least one goblin dead. And, I mean, you know. We'll kill this one this turn. Shouldn't be too tough. Should not be too tough. There we go. 
Ooh, I do love me a sprout line here. Put it on Glacia for now. You don't make the most mana ever of all time on this team. So it could be a little tricky to get there on actual sprout numbers. I'll even just lock that so we can hit the slate again. There we go, very good. Put this here, work the Slimer down. Yeah, we won't, we won't have the mana to really consistently sprout right now, but happy to have this for the late game. Uh, AoE shield looks pretty good this turn. Oh, that's a beautiful hit. So we're going to go like this into this into kill the Slimer here. Into this into this. And just put that here. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay. Not bad. Not too shabby. And it, it's hard to tell how impactful or not impactful Bard has been here, but the team is operating pretty well. So I'm going to say Bard is at least part of why that's good. I don't know. Um, what do we have to copycat? We have Pain, which I don't love. We have a lot of mana gain to copycat, which is pretty good. We have Weaken. Oh, Cantrips. I'm not for Ninja here. I think this is a good enough team for Ninja to maybe be decent. So I think I like that well enough. The real selling point is just having enough mana gain size to consistently make those copycats and do a mana gain hit. It's like a slightly worse uh, spell blade. And we have like cantrip support too, so it should be pretty good. It should be pretty good, I think. I'll definitely take that here though. So who's hitting you? It's the Fnatic. Okay, so... Ooh, that's actually an issue, huh? Because you can't really kill the Fnatic this turn. I think, I think Mystic is dead, dead here no matter what we do. Oh, we could, no, we can save you. We can do this. And the Fnatic does die here. Like, like, that's good enough, honestly. I can, I can live with that. Okay, another another summon from the bell here. Would not hate seeing a, uh, a weakened wand here off of Glacier, but I think I'll settle for the shield. Looks pretty good here, too. Okay. Leave is fine. It's not what I wanted, I don't think, but it's fine here. I'm copying mana gain. This might be a sprout angle. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so Bell is killing everyone. So one really annoying thing about the Bell is that if we do weaken him, he won't exert after he does this. But he will just die from the weaken to begin, or from the bell trigger to begin with, pretty much here. So that's that's fine to let him to weaken him, I think, down to zero. We also can't just kill his ass. Which is a pretty good line too, I think. I like that one quite a bit here. We can do this burst here. And then just kill the imp next turn. Should be pretty manageable. Okay, the imp is dying. We can just wrap this up. We, no one's even on our, on our side is dying here. We can just say goodbye. Very cool. Ooh, and I do love invest. It's one of my favorite spells. Very cool. I think this got bumped down to a tier 4. I think it was a tier 5 before, maybe. Or maybe I'm crazy. I don't know, but... For Sprout plus invest. We have the makings of a very solid big mana team. Cool thing, too, is that if we, if we see Hexia... Uh, we have our our uh, blue up here instead of down here at the very bottom. So we can kind of whoever our final yellow is, let them die. And a Hexia fight, and it probably won't be a big issue. Probably, hopefully, won't be a big issue at the very least. Take these. Okay, give me something useful here, Bard. That is good enough, I think. Okay, so we're going to go like this into this into mana gain here, I believe. I should probably kill the quartz. That's that's killing my ass. That makes a little bit more sense. Tragically, we don't get to invest here. But I don't feel too bad about this turn. Okay. I take these. Again, we do something like this here. And then...
Gotta save the Berserker, and then because of that we can't invest again, but like... If we can win the combat without investing, we don't need to, right? So that should be fine. Okay, that'll be good. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Citrine Ring. It's good on Glacia. But adding a carrier and a militia to this fight is pretty scary, especially because we don't have great shield generation to make the militia flee. This fight itself is pretty easy, though. Mm. I think it declines still. I don't know. I can see things going wrong here for us. I will take an herbalist. I'm pretty happy about that. Oh, dude, I should have showed it actually before. I had a generate that was so cool. I think what we'll end up doing is this because it reminds me of it. Like, this seems pretty strong to me. And the generate that I had was so interesting. Um, hold on. Th this one right here. This one, this is originally a one pip side here. But other than that, this character is a generate character, 6 HP, mana, 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 mana heal for one pip, regen for one pip, and it had a vine as well. I named it in-game Super Herbalist because I was like, damn, this thing's crazy. And I still lost, which was so sad. It was really bad into this fight here because it was double nulls. Uh, so I couldn't vine them at all. It caused some big issues, but ultimately, either way, sorry, getting distracted. Uh, this reminds me of that, because it's just uh, herbals with a bunch of mana sides, which I think is pretty good. Um, you can also do this, I'm realizing, too, which is pretty strong. That's actually really good, too. Very consistent four damage output from our ninja versus two damage from herbals. Yeah, I think I'll do this instead. Especially now that we lost our, our, uh, our good uh, mana gain. Uh, sides there we still have we still have glacia but we, we have less incentive to copycat now basically so this should be pretty decent okay well bard gets to else at least so that's fine we'll put this here yeah this is a pretty bad roll this could have this could have caused some problems for us in theory I just realized we could have vined down the grave there, too. Oh, well, whatever. Let's take these, roll the rest. Ooh, not great. This into this. I guess we do this first. There we go. And I... Oh, I was going to say, we, we can invest here. No, we just end the fight, actually. That's better. Polish Emerald. What are our items here that have Polish Emerald? We have Ninja. We have Leather Glove, which is oftentimes bad. We have Sprout, and we have Invest, which don't do anything. Okay, so Emerald. Emerald's terrible here. Poodle can be pretty good, depending on what our final red is. I'm I able to just take a Poodle here. I'll, I'll settle for that. That's fine. That is okay by me. A Ninja. Would not hate to see a Dodge here, buddy, if you don't mind, but I'll settle for this too. It's pretty good. Um, just looking, just thinking. I'll settle for that, too. Is something better on Glacier here, maybe? That is better, okay. Uh, I think we, I think we just invest here. If we hit, Ninja dies, which I, I don't like. I think we just pass. We're gonna play this with defensive. We have a bunch of mana in the pool. Looking for the death wish side here on Berserker, probably. Or a dodge on Ninja or anything. Okay. Um so there's gonna be a sprout angle here, I think. We need to invest first. We need to do this into this. And that should be fine. I get to hit once. I guess I can... I can't hit twice. But that's okay. That is okay. okay now I dodge. Okay. Bard, what do you got for me besides just hitting the reroll over and over again? That's pretty good. Okay. I like that. Oh, you fucker! You took away my death wish! God damn you. Actual asshole. Never mind. Fuck you. Dickhead. Okay, well. 
I guess I just invest into this again. And we should have, we might have lethal there already, I don't know. We should definitely have it now. There we go, good. Rural Glacia, no, Glacia's pretty good here. Uh, listen, I think, I think Bard was okay. Hard to say. Maybe a little on the weaker side in general, especially with the Berserker, but it wasn't too bad. Uh, I think ultimately it was a, was a successful experiment, I guess. Uh, that being said, I think I will just take Stalwart here. Um, and then we can, I don't know. Probably just, probably just keep everything the same. So we can put the, the way on Stalwart. Okay, definitely take that. Cleave Shield looks better this turn. I'm willing to roll down for it. This is better too. Sure, whatever. And you know, I'll even take a poison actually here on the Herbalist this turn. That's fine as well. Something like that. I think I will kill this Bones too. Keep Berserker healthy. Looks pretty good to me. Okay, Rotten summoning this turn, not a big deal. Um, take the shield. So a cool thing that we can do here, shield first, hit with Berserker, I guess onto the Goblin, and then we get to use Dog on Berserker for two regen instead of one. Just a fun little play. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this here is less than optimal for damage output, but I want to hold mana for invest. I need to get some stockpile going here. There we go. Should have done technically this first. Yeah, there we go. Get a little investment going, and it should be pretty easy from here. In invest plus Sprout is, a, in my opinion, a, pr a pretty potent combo. Uh, we're just going to play this one aggressively, though. But if we, need, if we need to, we have the option to be super defensive with this team, which is good to see. That will beat most enemies. This goes here. We dodge here. Oh, we have lethal by a lot. Here we go. Huh. Yeah, I'm not going to read all that. I'm just going to take the Binding Bolt here, I think. Or Blinding Bolt, sorry, not Binding. Blinding Bolt Berserker, pretty solid, especially with Vine. For two mana, we can block four damage, so we can make those pain sides very easy to use. Although, if you give me Death Wish, I'll take a Death Wish side here, I suppose, right? Um, Growth, not actually that bad that turn either. I could have used it on Ninja. Would have been worth considering, for sure. So I just do this into. I'll put, I'll put it on. Actually, no. I, I, will I put it on Berserker too? I get the. I should vine here. Well, again, we have blinding bolt. Sure, that seems fine. Okay. So you got this alpha next turn. It should be pretty smooth sailing from here. A summoning, rip bozo, etc. Cleave is fine this turn too. Yeah, I meant on stalwart, not on Berserker. There we go. We do this. Something like that here. Vine, kill alpha. Mm. Looks pretty good. Could have rushed down the, the basilisk there, but I don't know. This should be pretty good too. Full block in. Let's cause the retreat. It's pretty close, right? There we go. Good. Uh, veteran versus assassin. Uh, I just take an assassin. Ninja's been less than stellar here. Um, so I'm pretty happy to have the assassin here. And then I think we... I have some interesting choices right now. 
Like, this is not a... Or, sorry, other way around. This is not a huge improvement. I think the 4 damage cruel is just better because... 2 damage engage versus 4 damage cruel. 4 damage is just always 4 damage. Doesn't have the range effect that the 2 damage in range sides have, right? But that's not super important. Although, in this fight, it kind of is to kill that sniper, actually. So, you know what? For this fight, I'm not doing it. What am I doing, then? I think I'm, I think I'm going to do... This... I'm gonna go back to, to Mana Herbalist here. That should be fine. I'll take these. Looking for that engage rain shot there. Very good, okay. Kills the sniper. Tragically not enough mana for an invest here. That does suck, but whatever. Keep the Berserker healthy. We kill the Warchief, this fight's very easy. Just gotta actually get to him. Maybe, maybe I should have killed the Warchief that turn instead with the engage side. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, we could do like this. Into this. That looks good to me, okay. And maybe next turn I'll get to do some investing. Pro answers, odds are very much likely no, not going to be the case if I had to guess here, but... It's a pretty good roll there, though. Yeah, no investing, but the fight's over. We win from here pretty easily. And Poodle, not terrible on Stalwart for the record. There's some, There's some play to be had here. Okay, goodbye, Ogre. Uh, Dragon Pipe. Bad, bad on herbals right now, but again, think about the future. This will be very good very soon. Mm. Let's look at things. So if we go, like, really in on the Cyclops here... Nobody dies. Which is pretty cool. I should be able to kill him next turn. I'm pretty down with this. I think so. I think I am down with this. We will have to at some point vine down this slate too. For now, not a super big deal. For some reason, I thought if I if I triggered Poodle, it would trigger it on all of them. It's only if they if they the cleave people also have the same health as me. So, fun little thing we can do here. I don't think it's actually that good of a line. You can do that, and it's pretty decent. Kill the Cyclops. Actually pretty good, I think. Okay. Let me do, like, uh, one of these here. Hit the call. Full block on Berserker. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Could chill Slate as well. I don't think it's necessary, though. i just hold the mana. And Berserker can kill Call this turn, and it should be pretty, pretty easy from here. Or he could not. I'll hold this, actually. It's pretty good against the slate this turn. Okay. Cleave into bow shot here. Into win the fight. Okay, yeah. That, that works. I'm not taking ace. <laughs> no. I'm taking surgeon here. Definitely a surgeon angle. Very happy to see something like this here. Um, probably go back to this on the ballet shoes. Seems fine to me. Okay, next fight. Hopefully, assassin can roll a dodge here when we when he needs it. Um, we'll see. We shall see. Um. Odds are low that you whiff I've got another shield here. Okay, well, fuck me. Surgeon lives, but it is an annoying round for us here. I don't think I even used the stalwart, honestly. It kills the goblin. You know what? Sure, whatever. I killed the goblin. That's fine. 
That's fine with me. Okay. I'll take this. I'll take this. I'll take this. Looking for a mana heal here, ideally. Okay, or not. No mana heals allowed. That's fine. That's fine. And now I'm looking for a cleanse shield from our stalwart. And if he doesn't roll it, I'm going to piss myself. Let's go. No pissing today, baby. Do this, we invest, and it's now it's a wrap. It, we we can we control the tempo of this fight. It is now, you know, Trantis is over. Um, so just keep doing that. I don't know. Invest, hit the Tarantus. When we get the dodge, we flip them past the. The inflection point should be pretty good. Not much point in holding this here. There we go. Good rolls. Put this here. Put this, I guess, in the stalwart. Uh, we'll do this. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Whenever you're ready, assassin, time to roll a dodge, buddy. Any, any day now. Whenever you feel like it, just roll a dodge. Just, uh, just waiting. Guess I should lower a sprout value cost here, too, or whatever. While we wait for, you know, wait very patiently for our assassin to roll the right side. Any day now. Hmm. Any, any day, any day now. Maybe we're gonna run away just from being at full health here. Okay, big hit coming in here. There we go. There we go. Good stuff. Boots of speed. We don't have a left side replacer yet. I'll actually take that. I am pretty down to climb with the boots of speed here. Uh, the, the crown, not great on stalwart. I think what we actually end up doing here is we take this off and we just replace the blank now with a dodge. That looks pretty nifty to me. If we see hand, we'll have double dodges on our top character. That's pretty sweet for avoiding top kill. And I don't think I do anything with uh, leather gloves here. Yeah, I think we just go next. I'll take this. Leave shield's fine this turn. This is fine, too. All we're looking for is mana, really, this turn off of Surgeon. So we can maybe do an invest. Okay, no mana allowed, of course. How could I be so foolish? Um, I think we just kill the goblin. That seems fine to me. Okay. The fanatics are getting angry. Which, you know, fair, I guess. Um, I'll take this this turn. It looks pretty good. Looking for a cruel hit here, maybe, so we can just take out one of these fanatics this turn. Uh, I don't roll. I don't keep a dodge. There we go. Sorry. Did that, wait, that doesn't kill you? You're not at half health? You're not at half health. My, my apologies. There we go. Put this up here, put this there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Just two golems up the handle. Shouldn't be too tough from this position. This one rolls the big damage side. We do like this into this. That looks pretty good to me. We can chill as well. It's so like full blocks. I think we have the retreat this turn anyway, so you know what? Yeah, whatever. We'll do it this way, but yeah, this this causes the retreat, I'm pretty sure. Okay, fight 18. Wizard versus Captain. Not really any cool wizard plays here. Yeah, I'll just say Captain. There's better, there's better blues to see for us right now. 
Um, yeah, seems fine. All right, I can put this maybe on Ur Surgeon because they're more. You know, Surgeon's more important. I'd rather have this on Surgeon. I'll settle for. Nah, I don't settle for poison even. Although I might, I might settle for this so I can just kill the zombie. That seems that seems respectable to me. Dodge looks pretty good. Other than the chain off of this turn, so whatever. I'll just settle for four shields. That's okay. Stop the one that's poisoning. Do a little investment banking there, and then I think we just put the shields here too. Looking pretty good. We could maybe do some formations here. I don't think we have to. Does not seem super necessary to me, but... I killed the other zombie. Very good. Access to a lot of mana here. I think what we're going to do is, is burst in here a little bit. And then heal so we're being efficient. Shield here, and then... I don't know, just burst again? Seems fine, I don't know. Okie dokie. That kills one chomp for sure. I'll take all of these, honestly. We can play this one pretty slow. Not in any real danger. Put these here. Oh, I have lethal as well. What am I doing? I can just end that fight right there. Oh, this is a tough choice. This is a really tough choice in my opinion. I don't know what to pick here. We have Second Heart and Angel Feather. I love both these items quite a lot. Um, I think I gotta go Angel Feather. It's traditionally very strong on Surgeon and having having these be uh, bumped up by, by Dragon Pipe is even better then. Um, dang, I usually, I love Second Heart. It's one of my favorite items in the game just because it's so consistently strong. But this is looking pretty, pretty good. We can make this work. No one needs to be rescued this turn, so I don't think we'll take that. Definitely take that. And then what else do we got here? We get to kill a zombie. Mm. Mm. Sure. Seems good to me. Do a little investing. Hold on. Okay, we do it that way. Okay, there we go. Do a little investing. Summon a wisp. Okay. We could roll the rescue here, but I think I'll just settle for this. It looks pretty good. Keep the cleanse shield as well. Here we got some poison coming, although we have poison coming in from the person we're going to be killing, so it doesn't matter too much. I want to cleave here, not really. There we go, very good stuff. We have nothing. To, we have nothing to focus off of. It's honestly just a three damage hit is pretty good here. That's why I'll be taking that, and I will be putting this here. I think I just kill this wisp. Invest, and then we get a little bit of sprout action in here too. Can we begin the unsprouting for this combat? You just are taking out these wisps as well, so they stop summoning more bones. I don't hate dodge on assassin or something. I just want damage. There we go. That's good. The more we kill bones, the better. Put this here. Put this here. Um, I have ten mana to work with. Kill the kill the summoners, and then I can kill the guy putting pain on me here. Is a pretty good choice. Let's heal you as well. Hold over two. We got one cost sprouts. We have invest coming in here. Yeah, it's 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 GG for them. It is very over. Take the four damage here. Take the two. Mm, we're going to win this turn, I'm pretty sure, so I, I can take this. 
or at least you're gonna come close to winning this turn. Maybe you don't actually win straight up, I'm not realizing, but it's gonna be pretty close to a dub. So close. We don't quite get there. Technically, all of them invest, we definitely have enough to get there, so I think we'll do that. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay, final fight. It's against Hexia. Happy that we have the captain down there. Should be good news for us. Uh, I think these are both kind of bad. Usually, I like Weaver into Hexia. But that's because Weaver's on the bottom normally, and they have a dodge to avoid the mana burn, but that's not the case today. So, what do we do here? What are what are our blue hits if we random? I think we've already seen Ace, right? So, Ace isn't in the pool. Um, I wouldn't hate gas in this fight just because the weakened, weakened wand, the Hexia summons, which is pretty good. I think almost everyone is better here, so I'm going to go for a random. Chrono should be pretty good. Same same idea as before. It stops the... It stops the... Uh, what's it called? It's pretty well. The... Um, why, am I, why am I blanking on this now? Also, this goes down here now, by the way. I think. Or actually, we can do... Eh. I think we want the dodge on Captain to avoid mana burn. I don't think it matters too much, I guess, but... Hmm... Seems fine. Okay. Um, anyway, yeah, sorry, sorry. Uh, dodging and hit, hit mana burn is pretty good. You can maybe argue that Blinding Bolt is just better. We can just neutralize the mana burn. Actually, I think I like that more, honestly. Yeah, I think we do that. I think we just do that instead. Yeah, let's play it like this. Double dodges an assassin. I feel pretty good about this, but things can go wrong. You never know. I got a Surgeon getting stone right away, which does suck. I need to roll a cleanser to prevent that. I'll hold this too, I think, for now. Okay, guys, give me, give me something useful here. Do not roll this for a fourth time in a row, please. Okay, the something useful, thank you. Okay, so we can do this here into this into this. It's pretty fine. We we mana burn once there, but no one's even dying this turn. I need to desperately roll a cleanse next turn then on Stalwart to get Surgeon back into being like a real character. That's pretty annoying for us though. Okay, so Hexia, Hexia got the memo. Hexia knew our weakness was just spamming uh, stones here. Um, I'm looking for the uh, rescue side here. This is a, although mana is pretty good. I can, I can settle for mana honestly here. That should be fine. This goes here. This goes here. We're going to have to do some sprouting here. I think that's not bad. Although maybe I maybe I let it go through so I just do more sprouts here. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay. You have an invest off. We have sprout. We're very stoned, but this should be okay I think for the most part. Okie dokie. Take this. That is one of your cruel sides. Oh, that's your dodge now. Never mind, your dodge. I forgot we we we, we didn't do the uh, we did the the ballet shoes. Okay. Um. Is cleave into cleave shield good here? I don't think it is, but I want to see. It doesn't seem great. I could do like this. Cleave these guys. Put this here. It's not the worst. But I think we have way better things to do. I'll hold this. I'll hold this. I'll hold this. And I need to get like a cleanse. We just need as much cleanse as possible. And I think I just prefer a big shield on Captain this turn. Okay, come on. Son of a bitch.
It's not that big of a deal. Again, we Sprout gives us pretty much the, the dub here. I'm pretty sure no matter what. So I'm not too concerned. Um... I could do like a, a tick here, which is fine. And then some more heals. Yeah, it works well enough, whatever. Yeah, I, I, listen, we're, we're, I'm, I'm min-maxing here because I don't want to lose, but I feel like once we get a sprout down to one, once we're consistently investing, even against Hexia here, it is kind of just over. So I'm not too worried. Hmm. Am I cleansing you this turn? I don't know. Even if I am, that's a bad roll for you, though. I'll take this. That seems fine. So we can do, like, this into Poison on Hexy, which is pretty cool. I can kill this Imp down here. Then I can, like, just do a Burst here. I can also just kill the goblin, I'm realizing, which is pretty good, too. Yeah, it works well enough. Hey, Kronos, would love to see a dodge from you, buddy, if you don't mind, but I'll actually I'll hold that. That's pretty good, too. That is definitely playable. I don't love rescue when it kills you yourself, so... Take this in case we somehow, like, really botch this turn, though. There we go. Uh, do we have lethal here? We do. Okay, good. Nice. Pretty, pretty easy run. Uh, pretty good team. Zero deaths. There's not a single character death the whole time, which is pretty good. Um, how am I? How am I feeling about this? I don't know. I just think that uh. I just think that the game is really good. <laughs> I don't I don't know. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully I will see you next time. Goodbye.